died was because at that time Blakey was supposed to be the NDP. Oh yes, Blakey. And uh, he, through his weight, and he's got a lot of uh, influence at Broadbent, behind Jack Layton. He said Jack Layton, and I thought he was nuts when Broadbent said that. He said Jack Layton was going to make the NDP a, a, a party that will challenge to become the government of Canada. Yeah. He said with Jack Layton it yeah. will be achievable. Yeah. I like uh, Peter Blakey. Yeah. He's a good man. Yeah. But with Peter Blakey, it will be the same thing. I worked for David Lewis in his campaign in Toronto. But, and did you know, did you know that David Lewis, his family comes from the Jewish Bund? That I not do. But it was, uh, but actually, if you look at Jack Layton, I mean, that's why I'm not a big fan of Jagmeet Singh, but Paul, uh, Tom Mulcair, they should have kept Tom Mulcair. But like Tom Mulcair said, but Jagmeet Singh, he's going to be there until he, he dies as leader of the NDP. Because the standards... Who knows what's going to happen there. The standards are not the same. Because the, the Conservatives, you know... They're, uh, Pierre Paul is going to get elected. The, you know, party. like, it's, there's not going to be a uh, one-party elected. It's going to have to be a coalition government, you not know, a, because no, they no, divided no. one-third each. No, no, no. no. But, uh, Pierre Paul is going to get in massively. Really? Look at the polls. But then again, you never know. It can change. Look at Mulroney. He was down in the polls in 1986, and he got another majority in 88. So. I met him. Who? Mulroney. I met him, too. Uh, I met him on Parliament Hill. I was at the peace camp against the cruise missile yeah. testing. And uh, he promised not to uh, destroy the peace camp. And then he took a trip to England, and his minister of public works, Rock LaSalle, came and took, the, took it all apart and, uh, and arrested me. You know Rock LaSalle was a soccer before? Probably. <laughs> Rock was not defected to the, because he had Fabian Wood, it was six so uh, He came to visit us one time in our tent. We had a talk. He tried to make us compromise, and then he smashed well, it. Well, we live in a, in, a, in a wonderful country because you can do this. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I had a judge who had to make a ruling to allow me to be here. I got arrested before. The Combined Jewish Appeal had me arrested. I was in prison for four days. Oh. Because no. I, I tried to go to an annual general meeting of the Holocaust uh, Museum. Where is the Holocaust Museum? Never right on the other end here. Is it open? Yeah, it's right in there. I don't know how we can park there, but you can I go. have to visit it. Yeah, I'm, you I'm can. You see, I'm of German descent, actually, you know, uh -huh. and, and uh, I'm pro-Israel. I think the, 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 uh, the Holocaust, I mean, it was one of the worst atrocities. Uh, but you see, but, but, you can't but Germany is guilt-tripped into supporting Israel when Israel is not even, you know, uh, has no right to speak on, the, on behalf of the Jewish people. But you cannot there are only a minority of Jewish people, 7.2 7 um, million Jewish Israelis and there are 7.4 Jewish Americans. So how come they get to speak to, for us? And we don't even have a vote in those elections. You know that the Nazis tried to discredit the German Jews by, by trying to do a study at the World War One. And they found out that per capita more German Jews died than any other religion. Did you know that? In the First World War? For the German army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you know that Hitler's, uh, Hitler's uh, commanding officer was, was Jewish? Jew? Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. He was the one who actually recommended him to wear the Iron Cross. And unlike Goering, <laughs> that's the only medal that Hitler ever wore. Wow. The Iron Cross. Huh. Because, I mean, the rest, I mean, Goering, all the medals that he makes, him, it's like Saddam Hussein, Idi Amin, it's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, Herman Goering was a was a was a war hero in his own right. But I mean, to, to give him all kinds of medals afterwards. Uh, but Herman Goering, uh, he was injured in the World War, and he uh, he was uh, high on morphine most of his life anyway. So, uh. but Goering but Goering was essential for the Nazis to give it credibility. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because without without because Goering was of the German ability. Yeah. Oh. So it gave credibility. Uh huh. Because you need money. Yeah. And I probably you know that you need money when you want to rule politics. Yeah. And it was the industrials, industrialists who, who financed Hitler's, Hitler's yeah. rise to power. Yeah. And also the, uh, the Dutch uh, um, uh, royalty. And you know why they financed Hitler's to power? Because they didn't want the communists to seize their wealth. Yes. And also they got a big return because the labor was slave labor. Exactly. My, my aunt Toby was a slave labor, you know, for the German munitions factory. And of course, they made a big profit because they didn't have to pay wages. <laughs> it's simple, the the ultimate capitalism. <laughs> well, I'm for a mixed economy. I, I find that if you look at the European Union, if you look at Sweden, the Scandinavian countries, that they're, cap they're still capitalist countries. Mm. Um, but if you look at uh, Europe, Germany, Denmark, 
you will find you, that the gap between the poor and the rich is not that big. No, but look at China. But, They've but then, eliminated then, extreme poverty. They're a mixed economy as well. They're not, you know, exclusively nationalized economy. They have a private sector that's getting very strong. So, uh, yeah, okay, but, but, look at Sweden. but you know, all they can, all they're concerned about. I would criticize China because all they're concerned about is growth, and they're using coal as an energy source. And 30% of pollution in the world is caused by China, you know, because they want to accelerate their industrialization. They've already taken care of extreme poverty, you know, like, leave it go, you know, like, take it easy. No, no genocide allowed in Gaza. No, none. How Thank are you? you. Are you Palestinian or what? I'm not Palestinian, I'm Bengali. And, our, Bengali. and, our and, and you understand what colonialism I is. I sure do. Yeah. Cool. I love seeing you out here. Well, good can luck. Take a uh, it's Abraham Weissman, right? Weissfeld. But you said they, but they said they had you arrested? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's I was arrested here for trying to go into the meeting of the Holocaust Center. No way. And I'm second generation. Oh. Could you take a picture of the yeah. banner and share it? Gladly. That's the easiest thing to do. But don't, please don't call this thing in, as a Holocaust. It's not a Holocaust. Not yet. It's not a Holocaust. It's just a, it's a genocide, though. Even the court says so. It's not a genocide. Genocide is when the Armenians, that was a genocide when you have Israeli soldiers. Oh, just died. Ah. Uh, so a genocide is, genocide is when you, like, Auschwitz, that's a, that's a holocaust, that's a genocide. That's a holocaust, that, yes. That's when you have but a, a genocide is defined by Lemkin in the, in the law as a destruction of, 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 a, of the, a group. This is collateral damage. In whole or it's, in part. It's. And, and it's starting and it's continuing. If the aid it, is not even being allowed in there. They have no food left. Their famine is starting if, there if now. You, if you call that a genocide, then you have to call the bombing of Dresden a genocide. And it was yes, it was that was a genocide. genocidal act, illegal. There are, there are, how was it illegal? It was a bombing as a, it goes on the act of war. It should have been condemned in the Nuremberg trials, you know, together with the Nazis. You know? Mm. Dresden was done to demoralize the population and accelerate the surrender. Just like that's that doesn't happen, though. It, it motivates the population to fight more when you uh, massacre well, them. I beg to differ. Look at Nagasaki and Hiroshima. They had already, you know, prepared to surrender. Yeah, they were going to surrender. Yeah, no, that weren't. wasn't necessary. That was a warning to Russia, to threaten no, Russia, no, they because they were about to occupy Japan. They, they said unconditional surrender, and uh, after Nagasaki and Hiroshima was bombed. Yeah. Then the Japanese said, okay, we will not surrender unconditionally, but under condition that our emperor will be maintained. And so they negotiated. They accepted the emperor. They could have accepted the emperor before the nuclear bombs as, as well, you know, and, and stopped the war, but they didn't. Well, because Truman said if there's no unconditional surrender, the next city is going to be Tokyo. We will continue to bomb. Yeah, but it wasn't unconditional surrender. They accepted the continuation of the emperor. That was all about that, because Truman's advisor said, look, if that's all they're asking... You know. But they could have done it before. The bombs were not necessary. And, and Oppenheimer himself knew it. They didn't develop the bomb to drop on was Japan. Oppenheimer they wanted to st they, they develop the bomb to stop the Nazis. Was, was Oppenheimer not born in Germany as well? Yeah, but he wanted to stop the Nazis. He was an anti-Nazi German like you. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. But he was Jewish though, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not Jewish. Oh, he was Jewish as well? I'm not. I know, but I didn't know that he was Jewish. Yeah, he developed a bomb to stop the Nazis, and it was used not against the Nazis, you know? Like if they would have used it on, you know, like, you know, like a, a, a Nazi army formation, poof, you know, then that would have convinced, you know, the rest of the army to give up, <laughs> but they didn't. There were atrocities, there's always atrocities committed by all sides in the war, that's the reality. So they should be charged. And, and, and if if any, look, any atrocities committed by Hamas should be charged as well, if, and if you look but I don't see them... I see more Israelis were killed by Israel than by Hamas. Look at the movie The Pianist. Have you ever, ever seen The Pianist? Yeah. Look at, look at the guy uh, Hosenfeld. He was Jewish. He was the one who uh, helped The Pianist. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. And look at where he ended up. He was uh, he ended up in a um, in Siberia and he uh, he died like Navalny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was a good man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and there were a lot of you know Jewish Bundes you know uh, who were killed. Uh, by the Stalin's uh, bureaucracy in Russia. The communists killed a lot of Jewish Bundes, um, you know, because because they were anti-fascist, you know, when Hitler had an, a peace treaty with Hitler. <laughs> <laughs>
And so they started Jewish anti